hell are you? I could ask you the same question. I've called your cell phone like four times in the last five minutes. My phone died while I was jogging. Oh. Aren't you off yet? No, Rick asked me to stay an extra 15 minutes. Are you serious? There's some guy that was following me while I was jogging. Did he follow you to the house? I don't know. I get off in 15 minutes. I'll be right over. He's outside. What? Are you serious? Kelly? Should I call the cops? <sighs> Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. I'll be over in 15 minutes, alright? Okay. I love you. Right. Love you. Bye. My name is Kelly O'Keefe. Uh, I was jogging and this man started following me and now he's banging on my door and I'm and he's outside my house and I'm all by myself. Ma'am, what is your location please? I'm at 244 Carson Way. Remain calm. Officers are on their way.
Hey Hernandez, Sheriff, how we doing? All right, what happened here? Uh, we got one dead. No sign of forced entry. We got a we got a weapon. Uh, no, no weapon. Um, we do know it was a weapon or a knife of some sort. What's that? Uh, this was left for you on the crime scene. For me? Yeah, with the name on it. All right, all right, Hernandez. Go ahead. Hey, get a hold of the coroner. Let him know that we're not done with the crime scene yet. And make sure the paperwork's done. Got that, sir. All right. Wait, you haven't heard the urban legend of Lauren Evans? No. I can't believe you haven't heard it before. What's so special about this bridge anyways? It's haunted. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Seriously. Let's go back to the car. What, are you scared already? <laughs> just let me tell the story. It was on a night, just like tonight. Oh, fuck off. Come on, those shitty stories always start like that. <laughs> Anyways, it was on a night, just like tonight. A woman named Lauren Evans decided to go for a jog. This night was just like any other night. Except this night, she wasn't alone. Until suddenly a UFO appeared and she was abducted by aliens! <laughs> Bullshit! That's not the story. That is the legend. That's a crock of shit. Here, let me tell it. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 1998, Lauren Evans went on her nightly jog. She made it to the bridge and decided to catch her breath. Never seen again. Okay, well that was a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Shh. Did you guys hear that? I know what you're trying to do. No, 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 no. Listen. <laughs> oh my god, you fucking asshole! Hey, it smells shit. like roses. It's no. good. It's good. We like it. We all do. Ew. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, this time it's real. It's a ghost of Lauren Evans. Oh, shut the fuck up. No, it isn't. Listen, Kara. If you're so skeptical about all this, I have a dare for you. A dare? What, are we in the third grade? <laughs> Is that your way of chickening out? No. What's your dare? Just go under the bridge. That's it? They say after midnight you can hear the cries of Lauren Evans. 
It's always after midnight. Come on, just do it. Be a pussy. Really? Yeah. It's not gonna prove anything. It'll prove you're not afraid of the urban legend. But the urban legends are a bunch of bullshit. Okay, then what's the big deal? Just go do it. Fine. Kara, you don't need to do this. I'm fine. Seriously? I'll play along with your little game. I don't hear anything. Oh my gosh, Tyler, you asshole! I'm sorry, I had to. Guys, it's cold as fuck! Let's go get some hot cocoa! I got her. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have fun? Oh, <laughs> So, whatever happened with Amanda's friend, uh, yeah. Laura? Oh yeah, uh, it just wasn't, wasn't working out. Why? Honestly, I like somebody else right now. Kara. Yeah. No, somebody else. Like It's Kara. And it's totally obvious. Let me talk to Amanda and I will hook this up. No, no. Dude, come on. No, it just has to be natural. Oh my god. She's just coming off a relationship with Darren. I, I don't want to be the rebound, you know what I mean? I just want to... That is so gay. Shut up. Don't touch me. It's bullshit, honestly. I've tried three times to invite him over to meet my parents, and he has no interest. Did he say that? It's obvious. Every time I even mention it, he gets all weird. And... Whenever I try to invite him over for dinner, he bails. Do you think he's embarrassed of me? No, no, no I don't see why he would be. Come on. Well, I don't know what to think. I mean, I don't even know if we're official or not. I think we are. RJ is just a typical guy. He's going to get what he wants from you and then bail. You can't give him what he wants right away. You haven't had sex yet, have you? Amanda. Amanda! I know, I'm sorry. You gotta play hard to get. Yeah. Ignore his texts, make him crave your attention, and then he'll be your little lap dog. <laughs> yeah, guys want what they can't have. You gotta make him work, damn it! <laughs> Amanda, let's go! <sighs> All right, girls, we'll see you later. Okay. Good night. See ya. Well, and then there were three. Right? Bye, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Great friends. Derek, I'm home. I got called in work. This late? Mm -hmm. Must be something serious. Huh? 
It is police protocol to not discuss a new or an ongoing investigation. You have no idea what happened. No, not a clue. No idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, do you know how to spell amicable? Is it with one M or two M's? Oh, the English minor asking her smarter and extremely good-looking older brother for help spelling? Oh, this pleases me, yes. <laughs> You don't know how to spell it, no, do not you? No, a fucking clue. No, that's what Google is for. Use the internet. It's there for you. Not for me, for you. On that note, if you have a real emergency, you know how to reach me. A 911. Because <laughs> I'm a cop. All right, I'm going to go. Just don't look at porn on that thing. Is that you? Did I scare you? Very funny. How'd you get in here? Um, you left the back door unlocked. Like always. Oh yeah? You, yeah, you're lucky it was me that came in. Well, now that that's out of your system, what are you doing here? You think you'd just come here in the middle of the night after you ditched my friends and I earlier? Kara, really? You didn't get my text? I sent you a text saying our practice ran later than expected. I didn't get one because you never sent one. <laughs> I did, Kara. You could check my phone. Save it. It's getting late and I have school in the morning. I'll walk you out. Really? I, I thought you wanted to work things out. Sometimes, Darren, I, I don't even know what I want. Well, that makes two of us. I, I'm not going to give up on us. Kara, I love you. Nice try, Darren. You're gonna have to try a lot harder to earn my trust back. Kara, I will earn your trust back. Good night, Darren. Good night, Kara.
Now we're going to start with story pitches. Each one of you is going to submit three story ideas in writing. Now these must be typed, double spaced, 12 inch margin, Times New Roman, and 12 point font. Now each pitch must indicate what investigative elements will be used, who will be interviewed, what visual elements you'll use to tell the story, and why you think this story will be relevant or timely. Hey, Vanessa. Hey. What are you going to do your project on? Uh, it's just kind of looking around until I find something. Uh, what about you? To be honest, I have a serious case of writer's block. I can't write anything. Oh, that sucks. Um, well, I'm just kind of looking around until I find something. I'm sure you'll find something, too. Yeah. Well, I'll catch you later. All right. See ya. letter word for tear apart. Oh, I don't know. Four letters? Yeah. That's a tough one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Fray? Fray? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's Sounds go good with to that. Me. Hey, how's your dad doing? Oh. He's slowly but surely getting better. He just needs to realize that there is a recovery time. <laughs> Mostly he just really wants to get out of the house. He's not used to sitting around all the time. It's great though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how's Kara doing? Look, you know, she's adjusted well. She made some good friends, so that's nice. Well, that's good. Yeah. Look, I gotta ask. What is the situation with you and Kara? Uh, I mean, you two don't look anything alike. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Um, Kara's my stepsister. Really? Yeah. Uh, her dad married my mom when we were really young. Uh, father passed away in 2009, which is rough. So we weren't going to turn our backs on her. She's been a part of me forever, as long as I can remember. Just because you're not blood doesn't make you not family, so. That's really sweet of you. <laughs> oh! Fucking fuck! Mrs. Fairfield. Excuse Sorry. my language. I didn't mean to sneak up on you like that. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's it's okay. Uh, um, Cindy, this is my uh, next door neighbor, Mrs. Fairfield. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Please just call me Dawn. Um, what can we, uh, what can we do for you today? Well, I've been meaning to speak to you in person. I've been noticing this guy the past few nights, looking through the windows, hiding in your bushes. Um, uh, I didn't get a good look at his face, but I'd say he's a tall guy with dark hair. Not sure if you know who that may be, but... I'm a sleepwalker, Mrs. Fairfield. It's me. I shit in the shrubs around the neighborhood. It's, it's a bad habit. I'm sorry. It's not you, Derek. Okay, uh... Thank you for informing us. Uh, I'm sure it's just one of Kara's friends messing around. We'll, we'll look into it. Yeah. All right. Thought you should know, officers. Have a good day. Thanks. You too, Don. Take care now. <sighs> Darren. You think it's 
him? Ah, fuck. What the fuck? Sheriff Flanagan? Hello, Colin. 20 years and can't keep your mouth shut, huh? I, what do you mean I couldn't keep my mouth shut? I haven't said a goddamn thing. Somebody knows, Colin. Somebody knows. Not because of me. Come on, Colin, last chance. Last chance for what? I've done, I, I haven't done a goddamn thing. I haven't said nothing to nobody. Colin, last chance. What do you want me to say? I haven't said nothing to nobody. You need to get salt and vinegar lays. Those are shit. Derek primarily does most of the shopping. Oh, um, well, just mention it to him. Seriously, they'll change your life. Is that Darren? He hasn't texted me back yet. This is the second night in the row that he's ditched us. I'm seriously tired of this bullshit. Okay, that's it. I need to know the full story. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. As your new best friend, I need to know this kind of stuff. Well, I, I just... Kara, spit it out. Fine. All right, so I moved here a few months ago, and I didn't know anyone. Darren was just the first person to be my friend. I had some shit go down in my hometown, and I, I didn't really know anyone. So, I needed an escape, and he was just that. Did I rush into a relationship with him? Yes, and I definitely paid the price for it. One night, I was spending the night at his frat house, and I saw that this girl named Cadence was blowing up his phone, and I saw the couple of the text messages, and they were very flirtatious on both ends. Not only that, but Cadence was sending nudes. Cadence Smith? I don't know her last name. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so ever since then he's just been trying to convince me that it was nothing, and that it was all one-sided, but... I hardly know this kid. Why should I trust him? So he's just been trying to earn my trust back. What a bang-up job he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Let's see what his excuse is this time. Hello? Oh, movie night. Why wasn't I invited? Very funny, Darren. You were invited. I'm not Darren. Really? Are you trying to play another prank on me? What movie is this from? No movie. Real life. What's he saying? I see we're not alone. Yeah, Savannah's here. You know that. She gets an invite, but I don't. I'm not playing your games. Bye. What the hell did he say? He was making a voice and trying to scare me. Probably another one of his pranks.
What the hell? Who's there? I don't see anyone. Shut the door then. What? You don't think the ghost of Lauren Evans is coming to get us, do you? No, stop playing <laughs> games. Just, just shut the door. Fine. You big baby. <laughs> Ding dong ditch, really? How old are we? I'm already in the house. Very funny, Darren. Are you coming over or not? Savannah wants to meet you. <laughs> right. I must say, you have a cute little teddy bear, Kara. Did you break into my house again, Darren? I'm not Darren. Then who is this? Does your teddy bear have a name? Seriously, who is this? Teddy? No. Nah. He doesn't look like a teddy. Darren! Fluffy? No, he's not fluffy. He's fuzzy. Fuzzy? His name is Fuzzy, am I right? Sure. Fuzzy, huh? <laughs> I love him, but too bad Fuzzy's gotta go. Hello? What is he saying? I don't think it's Darren. Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's just let's just call the cops. Shh, it's okay. It's probably just a prank. So, do you think this was Darren? I mean... I don't know. I don't think he would take it this far. Well, anything's possible at this point. I... I just don't think Darren would do this. Did you get a chance to read the letter? Yeah, it's just a bunch of random words. I came as soon as I could. Are you girls okay? Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you for coming. Come here. Thank you. You don't think this had anything to do with that O'Keefe girl, do you? You didn't hear? Kelly O'Keefe was murdered in her house last night. What? I can't discuss that, Karen. Derek. Uh, you said the guy was wearing a scarecrow mask? Derek, talk to I me. I can't, Kara. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this evidence back to the station. I'll have Deputy Hernandez stay here until Derek can get back. Uh, Sheriff. Hey, good morning, Deputy. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, I was just wondering, do you think it'd be possible for me to have a look at the letter found at the O'Keefe crime scene? You know, I got that handle. I got it all covered. Um, no need to get involved. But I do need is that letter from last night on my desk immediately, if you don't mind. Well, of course, sir. Uh, with the other letter, it's really no trouble. I just wanted to analyze it a little bit further. <sighs> what is this? Well, I'm sorry. You have a sister, right? Yeah. You don't need to be involved in this case. I'd hate to see something happen to her. You wouldn't want to see that, would you? 
No, sir. I'm going to ask again. Please get that letter on my desk immediately, deputy. Understood? Yes, sir. That just fucking happened. on that's so urgent. Cindy, something is not right, okay? And you're gonna you're gonna think I'm crazy, but you have to trust me. Derek, what is going on? I look, I uh I need a huge favor, alright? That you cannot tell a single soul. I, I need you to pull Sheriff Flanagan's cell phone records. What? No. Why? Look, look, Derek! He seemed off today. I, okay, he seemed nervous. He wasn't himself. Something's going on. But Derek, you are losing it. No, Cindy, I wouldn't make this up. I approached him. I asked to analyze the first letter. He refused. He was very protective of it. He says, you don't want something bad to happen to your sister, do you? What the fuck kind of shit is that? Who says that? He's hiding something, Cindy. We have to find it out, okay? He asked for the second letter. All right, I, I made a copy of it before I gave it to him. I have it here with me, okay? Kara, Kara, uh, what, are you, what are you doing home? I thought you had political science or whatever you have. Instructor absence. Hey, Cindy. Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, uh, so, you know, we're doing some work stuff right now. Um, if you could just give us a little privacy. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Listen, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Kara, uh, we gotta head back to work, all right? Uh, should be home around five. Please, please call me if you need anything. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye, Cindy. Nice to see you again. You too. Probably just a bunch of gibberish. I overheard my brother saying this is the second letter. Really? This is the second letter you've gotten? No, I I guess there was a letter left at Kelly O'Keefe's house. This is so scary. Wow. So did they say it was just a bunch of mumbo jumbo like this one? I only heard a little bit before he caught me, but he said that Sheriff Flanagan has something to do with this. My professor said he, I can have the time off of the next assignment considering what happened, but I don't want to. I'm finally over my writer's block, and I want to do my investigative journalism project on this. How to catch a psychopath. <laughs> oh, pizza's here. Kara, maybe if you see the first letter, it'll help you understand the second letter. You're probably right. Hmm. Second letter. Second letter. Uh, can you hand me that pen? What? Hurry! What are you doing? Oh, what did I miss? I have no idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Second letter. O'Callaghan Park at 9.30. Come alone. Holy shit, Batman. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You aren't thinking about going, are you? Uh, no, you better not. Do you really think they would send me this message if they were going to kill me? Yes. I think something else is going on. Why go through all these lengths just to get me to go somewhere? I, I think something else is going on. Listen, 
Sherlock, I know you want to be some investigative journalist or whatever, but this is a matter of life or death. You can't risk your life for something like this. I'm not going to let you do that. Just think about this logically. You're right. Thirty-two. Where the hell is this guy? Hello? Hello, Kara. You wanted me here. Why? This was a test. A test? To see how smart you are. I honestly thought your brother would be the one I'd be talking to, but boy was I shocked to see you standing there. Okay, uh, what do you want? Are you the one who murdered Kelly O'Keefe? That's a personal question, don't you think? Why don't I ask you a personal question? Why did you move here from your hometown? Wait, I know the answer to that. It seems death follows you wherever you go. What do you want from me? <laughs> you sound hurt. You fucking asshole, what do you want? I have an ultimatum for you. What do you want me to do? You have until Halloween to uncover what really happened to Lauren Evans. And if I don't? You and your loved ones are gonna die. That's ridiculous. Halloween is in two days. You better get a move on it. It's impossible. Lauren Evans went missing years ago. How am I supposed to figure that stuff out? That's not my job, that's yours. You have until Halloween to do so. And if you tell your brother, or any other cops for that matter, I'll start by killing your friends and your brother. Then I'll save you for last, just so you can suffer. <laughs> Why me, huh? Why? <laughs> You're a smart girl. See you on Halloween. <gasps> Tyler! You dickhead! Kara, what are you doing here? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Tyler, we need to call everyone. Come on. All right, what's going on? Some serious shit is about to go down, guys. What? We can't go out on Halloween. We need to stay together. I received a death threat on all of us from the guy who murdered Kelly O'Keefe. You're kidding. No. He wants me to uncover what really happened to Lauren Evans. Or he's gonna kill us all. Then what the fuck are you doing? Tell your older brother, call the cops. If I call the cops, he's gonna kill all of us. What the fuck? Then what are we supposed to do? Solve this mystery. This isn't Scooby-Doo, we don't fucking solve mysteries. RJ, calm down. Hey Darren, it's time for you to fess up. Excuse me? I know you're doing- Who the fuck are you? I know you're doing some weird fucking prank on Karen and you let it go too far. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, yeah, fucking right. Amanda told me that all the phone calls- I don't give a fuck what you said. From I your lost phone. my fucking phone. Oh, bull fucking shit. It's not him. He was at work when Savannah and I almost got attacked. He could be lying. I'm not fucking lying. The cops came to my work. It all checks out. It wasn't me. What about you, RJ? You seem defensive. How do we know it wasn't you? Fuck you. I've had enough fuck of your you. goddamn bullshit. I'm out of here. RJ, wait! I'm sorry. You okay? I'm fine. I just, I think I'm gonna take off. You don't have to go. I know, I just, you know, I wanna cool off. But thank you for defending me. No problem. And I will be here on Halloween. No one will lay a hand on you, I promise. Thank you. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I don't like him. Is it cause Kara likes him? I don't like you either.
Mayor Flanagan held a press conference in front of Town Hall Wednesday, October 25th, 1998 declaring 25-year-old Lauren Evans dead just two weeks after her disappearance. Evans was survived by her husband and three children. Cher Flanagan. Hello. Evening, Sheriff. If this is what I think it is, you need to quit while you're ahead. Oh, you have no clue who this is. And over 35 years of police work, I think I have a clue. Cold night tonight, isn't it, Sheriff? What do you want from me? To watch you squirm and beg for mercy when I cut you open. You know, I have a Glock 27 on my waist that says that ain't gonna happen. You'll slip up. They always do. That'll be the day. Sit tight, Sheriff. We're in this together. We're in this for the long haul. Goodbye. Piece of shit. Professor! Karen, what are you doing here so late? Uh, can I use the computer lab? I was just locking up. Uh, I just really need to look up a couple things on the public records app. Oh, I see you've got over writer's block. Somewhat. You know, Kara, the best way of getting over writer's block is to say things out loud as much as possible instead of writing them. Eventually, the more you say it, you'll eventually get through it. Uh, that's great advice. Thanks. Honestly, I, I wish I could stay, but I have somewhere I need to be. Oh. But um, what I could do is I can keep the door locked and put a door stop under it, and then you can close it on your way out. Absolutely, good? thank you. Never stop a creative mind when it's in the zone. <laughs> Thanks. Alrighty. Hello? could have saved them. Oh my fault. Oh. 
Hey. Hey. Late night. I have something. Oh yeah? I think it's Sheriff Flanagan. Really? Why do you think that? The other day, I overheard my brother and his partner talking about Sheriff Flanagan and how he basically threatened me to stop my brother from pursuing the investigation. Whoa. Wait, there's more. Last night, I snuck onto my brother's work computer and I saw that all the paperwork done for Lauren Evans' disappearance was done by Sheriff Flanagan. I can't believe it. And that's not all. He made some sort of slip up. He declared her dead only after two weeks reported missing. You can assume she's dead, but you cannot officially declare until seven years have passed without sufficient evidence stating otherwise. Holy shit. Kara, you might have just saved our asses. I hope this is what he wants to hear. I'm just scared. I know what you mean. But hey, tonight, Darren, Tyler, you and I, we're all set to sit at home, watch movies, and hand out candy. I'd have us stay here, but my brother's working tonight. No worries. Any word from Amanda? Oh yeah, we were texting last night, but RJ doesn't want to come over. Apparently there's a party he can't miss out on. <laughs> typical RJ. Uh, typical Amanda being his little lapdog and going along with it. Yeah. Hey, do you want to go to the store with me to pick up candy? Yes, I do not want to be alone any longer. Hey, stranger. Hey, Vanessa. What are you doing? Oh, I was just uh, shopping for Halloween candy and I forgot my phone in the store. Classic. What about you? Oh, uh, I'm just getting a couple of things. Uh, what are you doing tonight? I'm watching movies and handing out candy with my friends. Fun. How are you and Darren? As of right now, we're good. That's good. You should totally come tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I actually, I have to do a couple things beforehand, but I will definitely text you afterwards. Okay. I'll see you later, maybe. Definitely. <laughs> Hey, I have those Evans files you requested. Yes, thank you. No problem. Okay, are you ready to go check out that car? Sheriff's already on it. Really? Did he say he needed backup? No, he said he's got it under control. Alone? That's what he said. I think I'm gonna post this one. You almost ready to go? I am. I just feel guilty is all. I mean, Kara asked us. I don't give a fuck. I wanna go to the party. Okay. Cheer up. We're gonna be with our friends tonight. 
They're your friends, not really mine. <sighs> All right, fine. We'll go to Savannah's tonight. But after we go to the party for a little bit, we'll end the night there. We can watch a scary movie with them or something. Really? Yeah. Thanks. You guys got me. Spooky. You're very spooky. Have fun. Hey, trick or treat, guys. Have a good time, okay? Get some good candy. What do you got for me? A lot. Okay. W what is it? Okay. I've been combing through Sheriff Flanagan's phone records like you asked, and for the most part, they seem pretty normal. But where things get interesting is that on the night of Kelly O'Keefe's murder, he had five phone calls from an out-of-state phone number. All right. What state? Wyoming. And he's had daily phone calls from that same number, like, every day since. Wyoming. Yeah. Look, I ran the number and it's registered to a P.O. box under the name Mark Sheffield. Mark Sheffield? Who is that? Well, that's just it. I, I can't find a birth certificate for a Mark Sheffield in Wyoming or Nevada. So there's no direct connection to Sheriff Flanagan. Well, then who, who the fuck is it? I have a Deputy Winston here with me helping me dig deeper. I promise I will call you as soon as I find something out. All right, well, let me know. Mark Sheffield. I know Gary Sheffield played for the Yankees. Hmm. Any word from him? No. I swear, if he ditches, I'm gonna kill him. Poor choice of words, given the circumstances we're under. You know what I mean. <laughs> Why even give him the time of day? Why not date a nice guy? Nice guys are hard to find, Savannah. If I meet one, I would. What about Tyler? Tyler? Yeah, he's a sweet guy. He doesn't like me. Uh, yeah, he does. He makes it totally obvious. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hey. You got a new number. Yep. I'm on my way over. Alright, it's just Savannah and I right now. I'm at the gas station down the street. I should be there in a few minutes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Why are you so giddy? Darren's on his way. He's just stopping at the gas station down the street. Oh, it's going down tonight. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> well, if you two are gonna bang, do it before Tyler gets here. 
Where are you going? Oh, I gotta run to the store to get more candy. There are more trick-or-treaters this year than last year. You really don't have to go. What kind of friend would I be? I'm not a cock -block. Are you outside? Hello, Kara. I wasn't expecting your call. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. No, I, I was I was waiting. What do you got for me? I I spent hours doing research and I found out that Sheriff Flanagan is behind the disappearance of Lauren Evans. Really now? Yes! He's the one who did all the paperwork. He pre prematurely declared her her death, and he's been acting very suspicious lately. Ah, uh, very good. But you're just missing one thing. What, what do you mean? Tonight is Halloween, and you had your chance. Shame. I thought you were smarter than this. What? I figured it out. You didn't figure out shit. Hey, this is Darren. You know what to do. Darren, please get over here. Hurry! Hey, have you seen RJ? What? Have you seen RJ? Uh... He went outside. <laughs> what you doing? I just needed some uh, fresh air. <laughs> really? I thought you so desperately wanted to be here. Okay, maybe you caught me. Maybe I just wanted a little bit of alone time. RJ, wait, what if they're trick-or-treaters? Let them watch. They'll like it. <sighs> what? I don't know. I've just been thinking. About what? Are we official or not? Really? You want to talk about this right now? If not now, then when? Any other fucking time. You're giving me blue balls for Christ's sake. <sighs> it's just a simple yes or no. What? Are we official? No fucking way. That's that haunted house everyone's talking about. Really? Yeah, really. Let's go fucking check it out. <laughs> really? RJ! Amanda, come on, let's go! Seriously?
Shoot with the savannas. Cindy, what's up? Are you still patrolling the streets? Isn't that what Flanagan told me to do? Well, I hope you're ready for this. What do you got? Mark Sheffield is an alias. I ran his name in our legal name changing database and guess whose name came up? Who? Greg Flanagan, Sheriff Flanagan's estranged son. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. I know. It says here that Greg had his name legally changed to Mark Sheffield at 5.48 a.m. on October 25th, 1998. That's the night? Yes, that is the morning after Lauren Evans reportedly went missing. Oh my god. Greg Flanagan murdered Lauren Evans and came back to Elmwood to finish the job. Are you shitting yourself too? We just solved the biggest case in Elmwood history. Oh my God, I, I gotta call Kara. Listen, I gotta go. A great work, thank you. What the fuck is... Police! Police, come out with your hands up!
Darren. Wrong. What do you want? To play a game. I'm tired of playing your stupid games. Whoa now. <laughs> Calm down. You're gonna need to focus to hear the rules. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm done playing. I'm gonna call my brother. Then they both die. Who? <laughs> now I've got your attention. What have you done? You've got seven minutes starting now to save one of them. I have your handsome boyfriend here at O'Callaghan Park, and your good old faithful best friend is tied up at Elmwood Park. You have a choice. You can only save one starting now. Wait! out of the way. What? I'm sorry. Do you know where Sheriff is? No. Last I heard he went to go check on that red Honda. Why? What's up? Colin Thompson's awake. What? He was critical. Now he's talking. And he said... He said Sheriff shot him. 
We need to find Sheriff. Excuse me. Why are we stopping? I have to call my brother. It's Derek. Hello? Close, but no cigar. <laughs> what have you done to my brother? Nothing yet. What do you want from me? I want you to meet me where it all began. I want you to come to Kelly O'Keefe's house. How do I know this isn't a trap? If you ever want to see your brother alive, you'll meet me here. No, please don't! What's going on? We're going to Kelly O'Keefe's house. What? Why? We have to. He has my brother. Oh God. She's awake. Huh? Just in time for the show. Savannah. Oh, you crazy bitch. Shut the fuck up. Why are you doing this? Oh, come on, you dumb bitch. You still haven't figured it out yet? What the hell is going on? Oh, come on. Just think about it. You really don't know? My name is Tiffany Evans. I'm Lauren Evans' daughter. And my mom was murdered by this asshole's son. Sheriff Flanagan over here realized what a sick fuck his son is and helped hide her body. So where is she, huh? Where'd you bury her? Is she in the lake? Is she out in the woods? Fuck you. Wrong answer. Oh, that felt so good. Who are you? Boy, you aren't nearly as smart as we thought you were. After bouncing around foster homes my entire life, I never really knew who I was. I did some research to try and find my parents, but only found heartbreak. Mom was murdered in 98, and Dad died drunk driving in 99. I always dreamed that 
I would find my mom. And we could see if we had the same color hair, same eyes, same nose. But I wouldn't get to do that. She was taken from me. So I grew up an angry and resentful person. I knew I wouldn't be able to lead a real life if I didn't find some closure. This would hang over my head my entire life. My mother deserved better. So, in searching for the man who did this, I found I had a brother. RJ? No. David. Interesting work on Darren. I didn't think you were going to take it that far. What the fuck, Tiffany? You weren't supposed to kill Amanda. I liked her. Oh, shut the fuck up. You didn't give a shit about her. You just liked fucking her. Fuck you. Anyways, turns out my mom had another kid I never really knew about. Of course, I never really knew anything about my mom. She was taken from me when I was two. about your past, they'll think you've snapped and went on a killing spree, starting with your brother, your ex-boyfriend, your slutty friend, and then share it. I mean, records do state you're not 100% mentally stable after what happened back home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, what? Did, did we hit a nerve? <laughs> can you keep it down so I can go talk to my buddy, Sheriff, over here? Derek! Where's my brother? Where's Derek? Will you shut up? You're ruining this for us. Please tell me where my brother is. <laughs> I need you to do me a favor and shut the fuck up, okay? Because we're trying to do something over there. You do <laughs> 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 Shit, I ain't talking. Oh, you'll talk. They all talk. We'll break what's left of you. And you'll tell us everything we want to know. Fuck you. <laughs> if you don't, my brother, he's going to start knocking out teeth. Pulling on fingernails. <laughs> Speaking of which... Do you know why we brought you here tonight? Fuck you, you know nothing. Oh, come on, Sheriff. I know you know. <laughs> this was our home. David, we would have grown up here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm gonna need you to tell me where he is. Hey. Hey, stay awake. Stay awake. Where is he? Fuck you. Where is your son? Oh, come on, we know he's in Wyoming. Which part? Which part of Wyoming? No. No, no, no! God damn it! No! Tyler! 
son became obsessed with this waitress down at the local diner. He began following her, watching her. I had to clean up this mess, dispose of the body. Pay off the eyewitness. We changed his name and he completely fell off the map. I love my son even though some may view him as a monster. My son is not a monster. He's not a monster. He's not a monster. <laughs> 